Hi guys, we're going to Target today. I'm so excited, I'm sitting out here. I haven't, I don't think I've made a dedicated video to Target in years, probably when I first started this channel, I maybe did, I don't know. But we are going in the fitting room today at Target and trying on some things. I wanted to go here, I needed to grab some basics like t-shirts, um, tank tops and that kind of stuff. But I was like, what if I looked around and found some things, kind of how I do at the thrift store, and found some things that were inspired by my fall Pinterest board um, or trendy like clothing pieces. And you know what, something about Target that I really love, it's one of the few places that I shop besides the thrift store. Well, not few, but you know what I mean? Like it's one of my key places that I do pick up clothing here and there. First of all, I always have, probably since I was younger in like middle school, elementary school, I've had Target clothes. They've always been affordable. They've been fairly on trend, I think, for like majority of the time that they've been a thing that I've known of. Um, I used to work there. I used to get a Target discount. So at one point, my whole wardrobe was Target um, for like a good four years. And a lot of you guys might disagree with this, but I personally think that Target's quality is fairly decent. Like most of the time I've gotten pieces um, that I still have that are years and years old that I've washed and washed and reworn and they're still like in great condition. And so I feel like they're one of those places that I just can always count on. Um, first of all, I love their Hua Wear line. So I'm at a Target specifically that carries their Hua Wear line because it's my favorite, probably one of my favorite lines out there is Hua Wear, um, but especially their Target line. I love the patterns that they have and styles. And so, yeah, um, here is my Pinterest board for some like inspiration of kind of what I'm going in there for kind of my vibe right now. All the basics, some trendy pieces we're gonna look for, see what we can see and find. I haven't been in the clothing section in a while, so let's. Okay, so it's back to school season. So here I am voicing this over, but uh, you guys, this reminded me of C New York like their quilted pieces and dresses and things. And just overall the quilted trend or the patchwork kind of vibe. I feel like you get this, even though it's not like an actual quilt, it's, it's, you get that like same look and feel, I think. And overall, I just really like that. That's by Universal Thread. And this is another one as well. They come in like a bunch of different patterns and colors. And just overall, the shape of the dresses are really nice. They're like maxi. And then these I really liked too. I The pattern stood out to me. And I when I pulled it out, I realized it's short sleeve, which I think is so cute. And I have been seeing, like I've been pinning a lot of like vintage looking ones like that or designer maybe, but these are really great. Um, and I think they're pretty. They have like almost like a balloon sleeve shape, it looks like. And then moving on to the dresses, this dress caught me by surprise because I'm like, I wish I would have found this in the summertime because I think it's so cute, this little mini white dress. Because I feel like with a pair of like boots or like, yeah, like high, like I have vintage fry boots. I feel like that would be so cute with a dress like that. And then this also reminded me of some other designer sweater that I've seen. And then look, okay, this one kind of gave me like Doan vibes. And so I kind of just really was gravitating towards it and I thought about it. And then if you guys see this trench coat, I'm trying it on. It's from the Ava Viv se section, which in my opinion, I have never found anything in Ava Viv that I really like love, love, love. And this is so cool to me. I love it. I think it's great. It felt like nice quality for like a faux leather trench um, or jacket. And then I went over to the Hua Wear and you guys know this is essentially why I came here was Hua Wear. And this is all they had, literally like one little tiny section, which is crazy because they usually have like a full section of it. And uh, yeah, so I didn't find anything over here, but like the pieces they had were cool. They just weren't like 100% my vibe. So I ended up not grabbing any who wear. So, okay, we made it in the fitting room. And okay, so if you can see this orange dress there, does not look like that one that was big. I think it was from with Jean. Anyway, starting with this first outfit here, which I personally really like, Um, I, this again gave me more of like Doan vibes and I love Doan and I, that's kind of what I was going for is that kind of look. Okay, ignore the shoes and the sock. I don't know why I choose to wear the most annoying things whenever I do these kinds of things. Also like black underwear, maybe one day I'll stop doing that. But um, anyway, I like these shorts a lot. They do run small, I think, because I think I sized up and they're still like tight, but then the top I'm wearing a size large, which is one size lower than my normal because that's all they had. This dress, I actually hate it. I hate it. I don't say that often on this channel. I don't say that I hate things like so definitively, but I hate this dress. Terrible like quality, first of all, but also just like it did not work. Okay, on a lighter note though, we have this next outfit, which I feel like is a classic fall vibe for me. I really wanted to try these pants because I'm, I'm not too like I, I never have been into target pants and I liked the shape I feel like they're trying with their pants a little a little bit more and trying to be more trendy or just like have better fits 
they're better than other ones I've tried. I don't love them. I wish that they were a little bit looser on the leg or like longer, but I do get the vibe. And also I'm not right wearing the right like shoes and stuff. This top, however, I really love. I think it's a great basic. It's from a new day. It's perfect. I honestly almost bought it, but I wanted to see if I could thrift one first because I've been wanting to. And then this skirt, I have been eyeing and dying for one of these kinds of skirts. And I really like this. I like this fit. I... I think it's great. It's from Wild Fable, which I'm not a big Wild Fable fan. If I'm going to buy from Target, I usually try to stay away from there just because of the quality for me personally from the pieces. I have gotten a couple pieces that I do like from them. Don't get me wrong, but um, I liked this. It's fingertip length in case you're wondering about length. It, it covers everything, but uh, and it's, it's cute. It's a good fit. I wish it was black and white, and then I honestly would have considered it because it doesn't feel like terrible. Um, however, this sweater vest, I think it is cute. I think I could would rather thrift one to be honest, but um, I do think it's a good option. It's pretty thin, but I like it. I think it's I, like, this is kind of how I like to style sweater vests. I think it would be cute. Not necessarily this outfit. I wouldn't necessarily wear this outfit together, but it kind of gives me that like preppy chic vibe that's in for fall. Okay, we are at a different target now. Some of my thoughts on the last one. I feel like there were cute pieces there. I don't feel as though it was super accurate and like, I, I don't think I was like, I don't think I matched too much to my Pinterest board, but I feel like it was decent. You know what I mean? It was average, um, but I'm having more faith in this one because this is like my home base target and I think it's like the best target ever. So we're gonna see, hopefully, um, we're gonna try some more things on and sorry that it's a voiceover by the way. I mean, the last target was super, super, super busy. And so we'll see if this one is or not, but, um, for some reason, I was just like super excited to do this and I was like, oh, this is gonna be like so easy because I feel like usually, oh, sorry, I had the air conditioning on that whole time, but I'm like, usually I feel like Target when I go in there, I don't buy things often, like it's here and there, I'll find like a really good piece. And so when I look and peek through, I'm like, oh, cute, cute, cute walking through. But then when I'm actually looking through, I'm like, eh, I don't know. Um, but anyway, let's head in. I actually stopped and grabbed a Duncan too. So we'll bring that in as well. this little section is cute i don't know what exactly it's for but i feel like it's cute with these little skirts oh it's wild fable i'm pretty sure but i like that maybe i'll try that i'm not sure this kind of reminds me of the rugby one that i have it's vintage i think this is adults but i love those colors together so much okay you guys how cute is this i think that's adorable i love the colors and everything like that and then also i found a cute skirt which i love the pattern obviously and then the colors too I think these are just like staples. Okay, I love that. The little floral patterns. Okay, I literally feel like this one was way more successful already. And I have like 10 things and I'm really excited about them. So we're gonna start off maybe with this little set just cause I love it so much. Okay, it just looks better on my phone because of the lights around it. But so I've been saving a lot of like uh, plays on colors like this together that kind of like contrast that you wouldn't think to put together like this green and the yellow and then also the matching sets and this kind of makes me want to get this set just because I just feel like it's so perfect this chore jacket is such a nice fit I sized up one in this this is extra extra large and then the pants I got my normal size 16 and they fit perfectly I would probably go up just because target pants I always I think I mentioned this before but I always size up in them um, just because I feel like that's the fit I like here. But um, yeah, this is by Universal Threads, both of these. And then this is by A New Day. And I love these colors together so much, but the, especially the yellow, I really like together. And I just think it looks so cute. So I might grab this jacket, look for the pants online in a bigger size, because I feel like I would rewear this constantly. And I could put a bunch of different things under this. I just really like this. Like I really like it if I pictured it with like some boots. Um, or even like my Sambas, I feel like could be really cute with this. Okay, I really wanted to try this on over this. I was just curious what it looked like. I'm gonna try it on without it after, but okay, here's it without it. I think I like it without that particular shirt under it, but like the colors in this are so cute. Um, I like it with these shorts. These shorts, I just randomly picked up. I like the color though. Um, these are from A New Day. This is Universal Threads. And I kind of like this outfit in general, but vest kind of vibe is gonna be obvious i think it's so big every year but especially this year i feel like um is gonna be big and was last year and i just like the colors in it a lot and it really reminds me of pinterest and then these colors together like picture i would wear it with like knee-high boots and like i feel like 
my hair up or something. Okay, like I mentioned, color clashing like this. Not clashing, color playing, like playing around with color. That's what I keep saying and that's what I'm gonna stick to because I like that better. But these colors together, like pink and red, I love. And then with this like oversized cardigan, I just, I love this cardigan. Um, but I don't think I need another white cardigan, but they do have other colors. Anyway, um, I like this outfit. This is something I would totally wear. I'm wearing my Birkenstocks with it and I feel like this is an outfit. Again, I would totally wear out. Let me add my purse to it and make sense. And then it's always a yes for me as an outfit because this is like my go-to purse. And I love this outfit. And I feel like you can get away with wearing shorts in the fall too. First of all, depending on where you are. I'm in Michigan. And so it does get colder. And I feel like even whenever there is like a colder day or it's colder out, with like a sweater like this, it kind of can even out or if you wear like taller boots with it and that kind of thing. Um, yeah. Okay, this is a super easy and basic outfit, but it's something that I do wear a lot in the fall time. And I really wanted to try these jeans on because they intrigued me because they just looked wide and I don't find like this fit here that often. And I genuinely think they're perfect. I got them in one size bigger and the waist is a little bit loose, but everywhere else is perfect. So it evens out and it makes sense. These are universal thread. And sized up and there's like the tag, but I don't like everything that I've tried down below, but um, I like these pants. I'm contemplating grabbing them because I feel like they're just a really good fit. And that takes a lot for me to say because genuinely I try to buy jeans from here all the time and I hated every single pair. I've never gotten a pair of jean jeans that I like here. And I really like these. Another simple outfit, but I feel like this cardigan goes with all of this, so it's just like been my choice of it. But this skirt, you guys, look at how pretty it is. It's very light and it's really, like, really good quality. And I just really like it. I feel like with, what would I wear it with? I would wear it with anything like a tank top, even just this, a chunky sweater. I would do like a really oversized white sweater that kind of hangs and drapes down. And then with like a pair of sneakers, like my Sambas or... Even my clogs, I feel like, would be cute with it. But I'm like, oh my god, if I had brown Doc Martin like Oxfords, that would be cute. But this skirt is so nice. I love that it's like form fit. It has like the scrunchy detail here, and so like hugs you nicely, you know. But it also has like a little ruffle at the bottom. I like this. I really like this skirt. Okay, I just had to try this dress on because I loved it. I love the like neck detailing there, and also the color. I've been obsessed with this color all summer. And I wish I had this all summer, to be honest, but like, and I think it could be cute for fall too. Again, with sneakers and like a cardigan or a t-shirt on under this. This is a size large, so it's a little bit tighter up here, but they didn't have an extra large, this is my normal size, but I do like this and I think it's cute. If I could find an extra large, I might grab it, but I do like it. Okay, I wanna peek around the accessories really quick. And I feel like their purses, some of them that I've seen, not these ones, but some of them that I've seen lately are super nice. Like these, I love this. This is like the perfect, honestly, into fall with a blazer and like jackets. I feel like that's such a cute bag for them. And then also these, I love those. I love the colors that they come in too. Also side note, some of my favorite um, jewelry and earrings are from the A New Day lane, lane <laughs> line. Also this set, you guys, comes in cream and I feel like that would be super, super cute too. Just in general, this chore coat is really nice for 35 bucks. Love that. Look at these. Those are cute little loafers. I'm trying to see. I don't think they have many of the fall shoes out yet. Oh, I'm in point five. Okay, these. These kind of look like designer, like loafers, to be honest. They just look nice for um, $29.99. I want to try them on, actually. They're my size. Oh my gosh, you guys. These stopped me in my tracks. Look how cute these ballet flats are. They're like perfect. They have black this tannish color or cream or pink or whatever. Yeah, pink, it's kind of like ballet pink. Oh my God, and they have the bows on them. Okay, they're cute. They're a little tight, but I am wearing thick, chunky, weird socks, but. Okay, I'm sorry, these are literally perfect. They're so cute, ignore the gross sock, but seriously, they're so cute. I might have to grab them, 20 bucks. And I will say, I do have a pair from Walmart that are $10 and these feel even nicer. And my nice, my Walmart ones are nice as well. So I'm looking for a black pair with the bow. Something that has been all over my Pinterest, all over my trend prediction kind of thing too. They also have these, which I think are super cute colorways that they come in. I also love those sandals. I feel like those are good fall sandals. They're like chunky. They also super cute. Also, side note, these are some of my favorite slippers. I have like the cream version from last year and I love them. I love Target slippers in general, but it looks like that's kind of all that there is as far as shoes go for fall. I mean, their sandals are still really cute and you can definitely wear them into the fall. 
Also, skims dupes, definitely love that. Those are really soft too, robes. I'm gonna share my favorite bras. While I'm in the section, I'm actually picking up a couple more, but I don't know if you guys have heard of the brand Cup. They're beautiful, amazing bras that I've heard nothing but good things about, but they're so expensive, they're like $60 per bra. And a while ago, I found these bras at Target that I think are like a dupe. They look exactly like them, in my opinion. Um, and, and they're by the brand Outen, and they look like this similar to the cup ones in my opinion if you can see like how it looks like with the um stitching there and just like the shape overall and everything and i love these bras you guys they are so nice if you hate the feeling of a bra this is my favorite one ever it's only 15 dollars um i say they run true to size definitely and i love them so i'm picking up this one which is also by the brand and i just really like the shape of it and the color and then a new one of this because my other one is torn up but i've had it for probably a year and a half and so i'm just now replacing it okay i just finished editing this video and i realized it did not do an outro so um here we are I had so much fun doing this. I haven't done a video like this in so long, I feel like, rather than aside from vlogs like I mentioned, but let me know if you guys would like to see a different store because I had a lot of fun, like I said, doing this and also it challenged me because I feel like I love Target's clothing section, but then when I'm going in for a specific purpose, I feel like it's a lot harder and adds a different layer of like a challenge. And it's the same thing that goes for thrifting, like when you're going in for a specific vibe or a reason, and that's like what you can't find. But also I think that Target was going through a transitional period right now. I think they're transitioning from fall, or I mean from summer to fall. And so I think maybe I could do another one of these in the fall time or fall winter, whenever, you know, their new stuff comes in, because I'm curious, of course. Um, but let me know what you, what stores you'd like to see, what places. I really would like to go into like Abercrombie or Free People or even like JCPenney and just like, again, try things on in the fitting room, that kind of thing. And let me know if you would like that. I hope you guys had fun with me today. Thank you again for watching. I love you guys so much. Make sure you're subscribed down below if you're not already. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.